Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a week and we have gotten a lot done so I'm just gonna run you through some of the things we did because I might have been a little MIA. So my rabbit barn is nearly completely filled with hay. We just got hay everywhere up to the ceiling. And then on that same day, um, Daniel might have spoiled me a bit again. I got something to show you. In our breeding program, we not only have mini wrecks, we now have standard wrecks as well. This is one and two. Uh, they are our two-month-old does, and here at the beginning of the year, we'll look into breeding them to a little special someone down here at the bottom I cannot wait to introduce you to. This is Alpha, and he is also about two months old, and he is going to be our standard Rex breeding buck, and he is just gorgeous but a little skitterish. So here in the next couple of months, we will have him just like our other bucks, overly loved and, and overly cuddly. Fear not though, we still have our mini Rexes. Here's Pepper and Coco. Blue and Saddle are just chilling out as well. And I cannot forget our itty bitty little babies. For the most part, everyone in here is weaned. The only ones that are still getting milk are Sadie and Lyle, and that is just because they are our runts of the litter and they're still way behind in weight so i've been working on chunking them up a little bit and catching them up but everyone's doing great in here so the reason why we picked up a couple standard rexes is not because we're done breeding the mini rex we're still breeding the mini rex and i'm still trying to get a good quality show stock going but they weren't giving me the litter sizes i wanted to make sure that i was still having a good breeding program as well as filling our freezer so our standard rexes are going to kind of fill in that gap while i can still play around with the color genetics and the genetic breeding of the mini rexes while not feeling like i am failing on both ends of the spectrum so two breeds for two different things but i am really excited about these three rabbits we got so new things to come for the homestead huh <laughs> there's two just wandering around i've been sitting out here every night petting and loving on them trying to get them a little more tame because they are kind of skitterish but they're getting there soon we'll have them just like everyone else so asshole's been acting up in that he has tried to attack and kill two of our ducks so for a little while he's just gonna be in timeout and i didn't realize how big he was until i put him in our iso unit and um yeah he's a big boy he's a very big boy and um i'm not gonna leave him in there long because of how big he is but he does need to cool his jets before he ends up killing some of my ducks. But um, the girls sure are enjoying picking on him. Uh, Pharaoh and Rosie here think it's really fun to pick on him. And oh, here comes Raptor. <laughs> Raptor's checking him out too to see what's going on. So asshole's in timeout for a little while. And um, yeah, he's being a very bad boy. I'm not gonna show you the duck that asshole attacked um, just because YouTube and the algorithm and all of that, but I will say he's doing fine. Um, he's a little tired and a little lazy, but uh, he does have a bit of a crack in his beak. But we got the bleeding stop, talk to the vet, just like a fingernail, that cracking will eventually grow out as long as the entire beak hasn't been like broken off or anything. So we have Nico in a isolation unit to get better for now and in the next couple of weeks. We'll see how we're doing introducing him to the rest of the flock, but keeping an eye on asshole. And if he keeps acting up, he might get replaced because we've had these ducks and all of these other chickens in with him for two weeks now. And it's only now a problem. So maybe it was just that we were late on our full food schedule. Maybe he was just in a mood today. Either way, he went after Nico, got him really good. And then when I was watching him, he also went after Banana. So 
if he doesn't behave himself, we might have a conversation, him and I. Finally found where all the chi uh, all the freaking eggs are. They're under their freaking chicken coop. As you pull out, the phone, pull the phone out, that's nine that I counted in there. I just figured out where they were laying most of their eggs. I think I counted like six or seven. And there, there's two outside, so it's about nine. <laughs> and let's see if there's any over here. Oh. Sorry. Oh. I don't see any over there through the camera. You see any? I see a bunch of... Trash? trash. No, I don't see it. Is it all the eggs are over here? Right here, let's see. <laughs> right there. I all thought right. there was only seven or nine, but this is how many I was able to pull out. I think that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16 eggs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. You give up, Panda? I gave up a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs>